all finding ourselves becoming media companies, whether you're a broadcast company or all the way down to a brand trying to reach you know, your audience. And I love the fact that you guys really have trying to take that into account uh, all the way up the chain. Let's talk about that a little bit, just some of the challenges really of the storage industry. To your point, I think that most of the products are really gauged you know, towards maybe data stores, you know, when we talk about SQL databases or, or those type of data stores, they're not really focused uh, in the video. And, and that's where I think you guys saw your opportunity. Yeah, I think the interesting thing is that most of the big storage vendors that have been out there for a while, they focus on that structured data like you're talking about. Data stores, databases, financial institutions, that's where they spend all their time and all their money. And it's really all about what we call IOPS or IOS per second, the amount of little pieces that you can push through, whether it's a mail server, it's financial data. And video is all about streams of data and very low latency. So, you know, the worst thing you can do is drop frames in video, makes people, you know, for watching something, they, they turn off, they don't want to watch it. We've all experienced it, whether it's from YouTube all the way up to terrestrial TV. You know, you drop a frame, people don't want to see it. So the latency game's a big one. And we tend to throw out all those ideas that the traditional storage guys have, and we look at it completely differently, and we have to optimize our equipment from the beginning to do that. So there's hardware secret sauce and software secret sauce and just general knowledge of how it all works. And then you compound that because there's deadlines and collaborative environments. And I think that's one of the things people just don't realize is that today it's not just one person editing video. It's editing, color correction, audio sweetening, special effects. And for something like episodic TV, you know, you could have 30 people working on one episode. It, it, it's really kind of crazy. Oh my goodness, you hit the nail on the head there. And you actually said it right in the opening, you know, multiple people working at the same time. I mean, we went from a system where basically people were saying along the lines of, okay, well, let's switch chairs and let's switch computers and let's work on this so we don't have to thread it across the network. And doing that, it became a nightmare for, for a lot of different companies. For us, especially in the very beginning, Nick, Absolutely. it was interesting because we tried to push something, we tried to pull something, and then you get all sorts of different uh, collision in the middle of it all, and then we were having major, major issues. But once you start implementing things like this, it then starts to basically smooth it out.